Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It is October the 28th, 2021. And this is Pastor Troy Wynn Sr., Senior Pastor of the Freedom Church. This morning in the recording studio with another powerful word from God to start your morning off right. I'm coming today from 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the 10th verse. 2 Corinthians 12 and 10. Grab your Bible, grab your digital device, wherever you have the word of God, and please pull up 2 Corinthians 12 and 10. I'll be reading from the NIV translation, but you follow along with whatever translation you desire. Here's what it says. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses. I delight in insults. I delight in hardships. I delight in persecutions. I delight in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. That's 2 Corinthians 12th chapter, 10th verse, and oh, what a verse it is. Today, I want to elevate your understanding of your imperfections. I want to give you the good news about your imperfections. And I know you're probably saying, what? Good news about my imperfections? I didn't know there was good news about my imperfections. Well, that's why you've got Pastor Troy in your life. Because God wants me to convey to you, convince you that your imperfections are a blessing. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Pastor Troy. You know, I love you and I appreciate you, but you are not about to tell me that my imperfections are a blessing. That's exactly what I'm about to tell you. And I'm not just going to tell you. I'm going to prove it to you through the word of God. But we got to start where we are before I can get you where God wants us to be. When you hear the word imperfections, I know suddenly something that you see as ugly comes to mind. How do you know that, Pastor Troy? Because I used to be the same way, man. When I heard the word imperfections, when I thought about my imperfections, man, I didn't see nothing beautiful. I didn't see nothing positive. I didn't see anything good. I saw darkness. I saw ugliness. And God says, son, you're going to have to change that because the way that you view it keeps you from benefiting from the potential power your imperfections have in your life. I said, what are you talking about, Willis? What are you talking about, God? My imperfections have potential power. God says, absolutely, son. Every imperfection you have has potential power that you can tap into, that you can use, that you can leverage, that you can benefit from. And I said to God, tell me more. God says, what you need to understand, son, is that your strengths are indicators as to where I want you to serve. Your strengths are indicators as to where in life I want you to have an impact. Your strengths are indicators of where I want you to lead and where I want you to prosper. I said, oh, I got that, God. Yeah, I, I maximize my strengths. I appreciate my strengths. I thank you every day for my strengths. God says, but you fail to thank me for your imperfections. I said, God, why should I thank you for my imperfections? And God said, because your imperfections, they are also indicators. Indicators as to where I want you to submit. Yeah, your imperfections are indicators as to where I want you to learn, where I want you to grow, and where I want you to transform. Oh, my goodness. I said, oh, Lord, I see it now. I see now that my imperfections are not something that I should hate. That my imperfections are actually opportunities that I can harvest and reap the benefits from. As I go back to 2 Corinthians 12 and 10, you go back with me because I want to walk you through it. That is why, for Christ's sake, I have it highlighted for Christ's sake. Because now I understand that my imperfections can never be about me. Your imperfections can never be about you. When you give your imperfections an assignment that is greater than yourself, woo, something 
amazing happens. In other words, God is able to leverage those areas in your life that may be lacking and make all things work together for your good. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in. I delight in. Don't miss that. I delight in. How in the world do we delight in weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and difficulties? How in the world is that even possible? Well, it's got to be possible if God says it's possible. So first, we're going to settle the fact that it is possible. Now we're going to learn how it's possible. It's possible because it's for Christ's sake. It's not about us. It's not for us. It's for Christ's sake. In other words, when you give your imperfections a purpose, then they will perform to produce something that is powerful. <laughs> See, the enemy does not want you to know this, hear this, or learn this, or have this, because this is a game changer. This is an absolute game changer because we go from looking at our imperfections as something that is ugly and we start looking at our imperfections as something that's an opportunity. I got to read 2 Corinthians 12 and 10 one more time because there's one more thing I need you to see. There's one more thing I want you to catch. This is dynamic revelation. It says that is why for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Did you catch it? I'm almost certain you did not. What are you talking about, Pastor Troy? Did I catch what? <laughs> Hold your seat. Did you catch the second I am? <laughs> Man, I love the word of God. It literally says, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Here's a million dollar moment full of revelation. There are two I am's in that statement. In 2 Corinthians 12 and 10, there are two I am's. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Now the first I am, if you notice, is weak. Oh, but that second I am, that second I am is strong. Here we go. I believe the second I am is Christ Jesus. Good God Almighty. Go ahead, Pastor Troy Wynn Sr. Yeah, I believe that first I am, that's you and me every day, all day. But I believe that that second I am is Christ Jesus and it's Christ Jesus in us. See, here's the good news, that if Christ Jesus is in you, when you are weak, it ain't over. If Christ Jesus is in you, you are not done when you're weak. If Christ Jesus is in you, just wait on it. Help is on the way. The second I am is strong, even though the first I am is weak. But because the second I am lives inside of us, the second I am is able to show up and show out and strengthen the first I am. Good God Almighty, this is good teaching to me. And that's why, brothers and sisters, boys and girls, cats and dogs and squirrels, that's why God wants us to delight in weaknesses. God wants us to delight in insults. God wants us to delight, brothers and sisters, in hardships, persecutions. And God wants us to delight in in difficulties. That's why the second I am is the I am that makes all the difference in the life of the first I am. And the first I am is you and me. See, when you've got the second I am living inside of the first I am, here's one thing you can always count on. You can always count on that second I am showing up so that you can rise up. Ooh. I got to say that again, guys. You can always count on the second I am when the second I am lives within the first I am to show up so that the first I am can rise up every single time. 
I told you I wanted to change, transform, reconfigure the way that you see your imperfections. And it's happening now, even as I speak. Your imperfections are your opportunities. And your opportunities are in your imperfections. I'll close with a divine word concerning your imperfections. Now I need everybody to sit up straight and pay attention and get ready to catch this with two hands because you don't get this everywhere. Here is the divine word concerning your imperfections. Don't hate them, harvest them. Oh my goodness, <laughs> my God, let me say it one more time. Your imperfections, don't hate them, harvest them. The more imperfections you have, the more opportunities you have for God's power in your life. It's time, y'all. It's time that you realize the value of your imperfections. It's time that you capitalize on every single one of them. Why? Because now we understand 2 Corinthians 12 and 10 like we never understood it before. That is why, for Christ's sake, oh, I delight in weaknesses now. I delight in the insults. Child, I delight in hardships. I delight even in the persecutions. And I never thought I could get to this place, but I now even delight in the difficulties. Someone in the distance echoes a question, why? Why do you delight in these things? And I answer to them, for when I am weak, <laughs> then, brothers and sisters, I am strong. And this is <laughs> Pastor Troy Wynn Sr., the senior pastor from the Freedom Church in the recording studio this morning, bringing you a powerful word to start your morning off right on October the 28th, 2021. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you for this day that you've blessed us to see. And we declare that this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice in it. We thank you for the opportunity and the privilege, God, to sit at your feet this morning to receive revelation, understanding, and insight as it relates to our imperfections. We want to say thank you for the good news about our imperfections. And from this moment going forward, we will harvest every imperfection that we have. We won't hate them, we'll harvest them. Because we now know that the second I am is waiting and ready to show up so that we can rise up every single time. We pray this prayer this morning in the name of your son Yeshua, Christ Jesus, amen. Amen and amen. Well, brothers and sisters, I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things as we get ready to journey into this day. Number one, share this powerful word with every and anybody that you can. Number two, make sure that you soak in it. Make sure that you sow in it and make sure that you grow in it. One of the things that God is now focusing me on is helping the people of God understand the divine connection between the word of God when it is taught, when it is received, and when it is sown into and how the word and our sowing work together to produce the glory of God in our lives. Far too many of us have gotten the habit of hearing the word of God, but not sowing into the word of God, not understanding that when the word of God is being presented, 
It is a sacred moment. It is not a regular slot of time. It becomes a holy moment unto God, a gift from God, and it gives us an opportunity to give a gift to God in that sacred moment of his word. I encourage you to start sowing into the word, especially the word that feeds you, encourages you, uplifts you, and opens your eyes in ways that they have not been opened before. Have a blessed day. Make this the best day, no matter what comes your way. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen.